This is what much of Srinagar has looked like for nearly two weeks. Kashmiris unable to move around the largest city in the region and communications completely shut down. Indian administrators say some phone lines in the Kashmir Valley were reconnected on Saturday, with more due on Sunday. We have also opened up mobile internet with some functionality in at least five districts and shall be successively and in a calibrated manner opening up other areas as well. Phone users in Srinagar had buried reactions. Everything paralyzed here in Kashmir. Everything is paralyzed. I think it's a good, good thing that uh, the government is able to restore the phone lines because people were facing a lot of issues. Uh, they were not able to communicate with their near and dear ones. But for some, the worst restriction is on freedom of movement. Sheikh Zahid has been teaching his niece and nephew at home since the shutdown began. He says not being able to move around has been severe. Overall, there is still a lot of problems here. The kids are stuck inside. Their schools have been shut. In 30, 35 years, I haven't seen restrictions so bad. My sister is only two kilometers away, and I don't know her situation. Despite the promise of the lockdown being loosened, some are protesting in other ways. Kashmiris have set up their own barricades in this neighborhood to stop armored personnel carriers from entering. We've put up these blockades so that police won't be able to come here and arrest the youth. They tried a few times, but failed. The police are trying to come here, but the people are resisting. We've managed to keep them away many times. Acts of defiance, even as the Indian government says it will take a wait-and-see approach before lifting more of its restrictions in the region. Fez Jamil Al Jazeera, New Delhi.